The last four winners of the Champions League, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Chelsea, are connected by a number of factors, not least money. They're amongst the richest clubs in Europe. So why is it that Manchester City, who have the highest net transfer spend in the world, based on the last 10 years, have failed to make it past the last 16 in the same competition? Does it prove that money can't buy the Champions League? Well, we put that very question to football writer and tactics expert Michael Cox. I think you have to factor in the quality of the opposition and they've been drawn certainly for the first two seasons though in the Champions League in a very difficult group and they didn't really have the easy games against minnows from Eastern Europe where you can kind of build your confidence in the competition. I think sometimes when they've come up against big sides they've kind of played with the Premier League mentality. Um, they've often played two up front against big sides and, and lost the midfield battle which shouldn't really be happening. I think in Europe you need a little bit more guile, a little bit more creativity, particularly from deep positions. And while they have David Silva and Sami Nasri um, in attacking midfield positions, I think they lack a real organiser in deep positions. And you look at Manuel Pellegrini, who he hadn't won a, a major European League title before he came to the Premier League. But what he had done was he'd done very well with two relatively unfancied, quite small Spanish sides in Villarreal 2006, who got to the semi-finals. And then Malaga a couple of seasons ago, they got to the quarter-finals. So it's clearly not something that he's incapable of. I think he's really just struggling to find the right balance in the side. As of early October 2014, Bayern Munich squad has the most Champions League experience, their players having played a grand total of 927 games in the competition. Real Madrid a second, 70 games behind on 857. In third place are Real's La Liga rivals Barcelona, who have in their ranks Xavi Hernandez, the all-time record holder for appearances in the Champions League with 143. Fourth are Chelsea with 744 appearances in their squad. So who's in fifth? Manchester City with 699 Champions League appearances between them. That's over 100 more than Arsenal and Man United and over 400 more than last year's beaten finalists Atletico Madrid. So they've got the experience and they've got the money what is the problem? Well, if you compare their Premier League numbers to their Champions League numbers, their shooting accuracy is actually better in the Champions League. So it's not a problem with nervousness in front of goal or anything like that. Um, the problem is that they're not getting the ball into the penalty area as much. They're not having as many shots as they do in the Premier League. And therefore, I think there's a problem in terms of getting the ball into those players. They don't always have the good, intelligent forward passing from Torre, who prefers to charge forward himself on the ball or whoever's been playing in that deep lying role, whether it's been De Jong or Barry or Fernandinho, they're more careful users of the ball. They were sniffing around Daniele Di Rossi of Roma a couple of seasons ago. Obviously Roma in Manchester City's Champions League group. He was out injured for the first meeting at the Etihad. But I think when they come across him in the return game, maybe they'll see someone that they could have signed or that they tried to sign and, and they don't really have his level of intelligence deep in midfield. So De Rossi hasn't won the Champions League, but he's won the World Cup and he's been at that kind of level. It might be too late to sign him now, but I think that he's the kind of player they're missing. So is this the year that Manchester City finally put together a decent Champions League run? And what do you put their recent failures down to exactly? Let us know in the comments below, people. And if you like European flavour to your football, check out our fantastic Talking Point series right about here, which means there's absolutely no excuse whatsoever not to subscribe to our channel, which you can do so by clicking right here. We'll see you soon.